With the MGT series, MAN Diesel and Turbo has created a family of gas turbines that it has developed at its Oberhausen site. The highly efficient MGT 6100 and MGT 6200 turbines set a milestone in the 6 megawatt output class. Let us look at the MGT 6200 first. It is a twin shaft model used as a mechanical drive for compressors, for example. The compact core engine delivers a maximum output of 6.9 megawatts. This is equivalent to 9,522 horsepower, thus as much as 95 automobile engines of 100 horsepower each produced together. The MGT 6200 basically comprises two sections, the gas generator with high pressure turbine on the left and the power or low pressure turbine on the right, which runs independently of the gas generator at a variable speed thanks to a second shaft. An external drive starts the gas turbine. In this case, it is an electric motor which drives the shaft of the high pressure turbine and along with this, the 11 stage axial compressor mounted on it. The compressor driven by the high pressure turbine serves to take in and compress the air needed for combustion. Inside the six combustion chambers, the air is mixed with fuel gas and the mixture is ignited. The hot exhaust gases expand driving both the high and the low pressure turbines. Let's take a closer look at this process. Due to the spinning motion, the blades of the axial compressor strike the air. They conduct it into the turbine while compressing it in the process. A flow is created that passes through the air intake casing and then along the axis. A pressure increase of 15 bar means the air flows into the six combustion chambers with around 15 times more oxygen. These advanced can combustors pre-mix the fuel gas with the compressed air homogeneously already before it enters the chamber. Afterwards, this mixture is ignited and burns with extremely low emissions. The fuel gas air mixture expands due to the combustion heat to many times its volume. As a result, it flows at high speed first through the two rows of blades of the high pressure turbine and then through the low pressure or power turbine, thus driving both shafts. The exhaust gases flow through a diffuser into the outlet casing. Their high temperature of around 460 degrees Celsius can still be utilized, for instance, to generate steam. The shaft of the power turbine can be operated independently of that of the gas generator in a speed range of 45 to 105 percent of the nominal speed of 12,600 RPM, and thus adapt optimally to the requirements of the machine to be driven. However, such a flexible speed range is not necessary to generate power. That's why MAN has come up with the MGT 6100. This single shaft model drives an electric generator at a constant speed and has been especially designed and optimized for this. The MGT 6100 shares several modular assembly parts, like, for instance, the combustion chambers or the axial compressor with the MGT 6200. But only one continuous shaft is used here. It thus saves on around 27% of components. It consists of 7,846 individual components, while the MGT 6200 is composed of 10,011 parts. MAN Diesel and Turbo has been building gas turbines since 1988. The MGT series is the latest manifestation of this extensive experience. The company thus offers clean, future-ready drives for compressors and generators boasting high mechanical efficiency ratings of over 30% and extremely low pollutant emissions.